Bah weep, ground out weep, and and welcome back to my channel where we talk about all things Transformers and Transformers action figure related. And today on my channel, I'm coming back at you with a quick news roundup of all the things that I found on the internet. But before we kick off with the Transformers news, I do just want to dip back into Ramen Toy because they are sharing a few more pictures of the Centurions Power Extreme Stream Stream Stream. So they are releasing the 80s Commander, so their take on the Centurions, and these things are looking great. So we got some pictures of them inside the boxes, but now we also have some pictures of the finished head sculpts and all of the paint that's going to go on those. Absolutely beautiful really 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 nice looking figures I love the kind of weathered look that they've gone for on the armor itself you can see that it it looks like they've been in a battle yep as we've covered in some of the other issues on this uh, or some of the episodes on this I should say it's not exactly accurate to the original figures some of the colors are a little bit off and stuff like that yeah I get that but look at it look at the way that they've done these i think these are beautiful plenty of accessories to come if you do want to get your hands on these you can still head over to ramen toy it's not ramen toys with an s it's ramen toy and they're still doing pre-orders they are supposed to be shipping at the end of october so yeah really cool super looking forward to these i've got one on pre-order so expect to see a review on this channel and now the news don't touch that dial Kicking off today with TF Source, who are doing a full clearance sale up to 65% off. Some awesome bots in the sale. Definitely go check it out. Some very, very nice bots. I think I'm going to spend quite a bit of dollar, dollar, dollar there. Next up, dipping our toe into the world of Fumby Studios, who have Wheeljack's Shock Blaster Cannon from one of the G1 episodes here. And this is cool. This is a really cool looking big cannon for your Earthrise Wheeljack. Of course, he will. this cannon will work with absolutely any of the figures because they all have the same kind of ports. Looks great, attaches onto his back as well. And you have to 3D print this. So anyone who's getting excited saying, where can I buy this? You need a 3D printer. I'm getting a 3D printer. Santa Claus, it's on my list few upgrade kits coming from utopia and the first one is for ultra magnus and it looks really really good filling in those side pieces there that are hollowed out as always from hasbro but also gives you a little matrix holder for the dude inside the cab as well so that's nice we also have an upgrade kit for scorpionock that gives it like i think it gives it a little bit height on the thighs which is pretty cool uh it gives you some extra accessories extra weapons and then also gives you a really really cool looking um cannon for the inside of the scorpions uh pincers so that you can shoot that cannon away and you can see here on this one where the extra leg bit goes so it just gives them a little bit more height i think this looks good um i think it does finish off this scorpion up version of scorpion up pretty well let me know your thoughts on this one down in the comments Next up is the world of Jizaya Toys, and they've been showing off a ring that transforms into a version of Captain America, which is interesting. I'm not sure why you'd want it to do that, but it is quite interesting. Nice. But the main reason I'm showing this is because we've never seen Jizaya Toys in the real world, in the IRL. But look, look at this, a prototype of a Jizaya Toys figure, IRL. On someone's finger why would you choose to do this one i don't know but hey for all those people who say hey they never make anything there's a figure in irl nice kfc are releasing an off-white version now of snapdragon so this is their take on snapdragon looks pretty cool i'm not sure if i'm down with the head too much on this one but it does look pretty cool in the bot mode i guess a little bit of a backpack there the dragon mode is Mm, not 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 what i'm about nope nope i hate this i really don't like the dragon mode here but i do like this shuttle mode absolutely awesome always a big fan of snapdragon's shuttle mode and in fact this is played on my shelf uh the earthrise version this is how i display him because i love this sh this mode here 
And of course, you can't have Snapdragon without an ape face, and they're doing an off-white take on their ape face as well. And yeah, it looks it looks okay. Literally just looks okay. I mean, I think this is rendering rather than the actual figure itself. Massive backpack. He has all the backpack, and again, the bot mode. No, the alt mode, sorry for the monkey on this one. Eh, I'm I'm neither here nor there on it. Um, but the ship mode here is fantastic. It's much better than what we saw with Earthrise. So, yeah, they're available for pre-order now if you're up for them. But um, for me, I'll be giving both of these a wide berth. Next up we have Dr. Wu! Woo Dr. Wu! So Dr. Wu is going to be releasing their Energy Dragon! So Energy Dragon DWE14, which is basically their take on a Tripticon! And Tripticon looks pretty good. Also turns into a box, so it's, I guess if you're a, a beast box collector, it'll fit in with your beast boxes as well. I really don't get the whole beast box thing, but hey, you know, the energy dragon itself, aka Tripticon, looks really, really good. Also comes with an awesome looking uh, base mode as well, actually. So for such a small little dude, it is a triple changer, or is it a quad changer? I think it's a quad changer, this one, because it has the little mode here and then also has another kind of base mode for it as well. And also comes with its counterpart. To me, Tripticon still looks a little bit like Zoidzilla, but yeah. Looks, looks okay. Looks pretty cool. I might actually pick this dude up. I do like me a little bit of Dr. Wu. Moving over to the team at Mech Fans Toys. And they showed off a color version of their take on Retgar. And it looks good. He's actually got silver nips, silver boom boom boobs, which is exactly uh, what they should have had with the Studio 86 version of this figure. Um, and he's got a bit more chrome on his legs and stuff like that. He does have a little bit of waffle going on on his elbows, uh, but the overall look of this dude does look pretty good. He comes with his oil can for him to bang and go, I have no idea what he says there, but... Yeah, looks okay. Alt mode here does look a little bit crappy. I'm not exactly into that. Moving over next to the world of TFC. And this dude is usually camouflaged, but this is the lucky draw take on the Supreme Technical Commander Optimus Prime Nuclear Blast version. Now this, like I said, is usually camouflage and it's their take on on prime which is a very different take on prime but this one actually pays homage to the monkey king in the classic animation havoc in heaven so if you really want to get hold of this this thing is called the dong feng dashang uh, and this is actually available up on shozi right now as a pre-order I think it's quite interesting and quite cool. It comes with so many accessories. I don't know if I prefer this to the um, original kind of camouflage look of this. This is a figure that I actually do want to pick up. Um, not maybe in these colours, although it is a very interesting colour take. And I love the art style here with just the, the flames coming behind it. And yeah, it's nice. And I like the little story behind it. It's pretty, pretty cool. Let me know your thoughts on this one down in the comments. Moving over to the world of the x Transbots, and we know that they're going to be releasing their take on all of the Inferno and all of those kind of figures that look the same. So now they're going to be looking at the different faceplates that we're going to get with it. So multiple different expressions and eye colours with this one, from a yellow to a blue. For me, has to be the blue eyes rather than the yellow eyes because they look really cool. When we go over to Inferno as well, we can see that Inferno is going to have multiple faces is looking very angry in some faces looking a little bit sad in another face so that's quite cool and quite funny and a happy happy joy joy face as well so nice nice so we're gonna get all of these different faces this one is the saddest face of all of them though poor guy also last week we did look at one picture that we got of Virtus and now we have a whole host of Virtus pictures uh, on that awesome looking stand. I do love the stand. I think I love the stand more than I love the figure at this point. Um, but the, the copter mode here looks good. 
I think it looks like a very, very nice cup to move from the triple changer. I'm not sure about this effects piece though. This is supposed to be like some the spinning piece of it. From the top, it just looks like a piece of broken glass on top of the copter mode. But all in all, it's a good chopper. It's a good looking chopper. When we move over to the bot mode as well, this dude looks very, very poseable. I like this kneeled down version that we have here and all of the different facial expressions that you're going to get with this dude as well. So you do get a lot. I mean, I've just picked up the fans toys take on Springer and that is something I did think that he was lacking. Uh, I'll do my review very soon on that figure. Um, but I did feel that he was lacking in accessories. Um, this one definitely is not lacking in accessories, but I don't know. There's something about him. The chest, does it look small? The color seems very good. I know they did a lot of work actually with the community as well, asking questions about is the shade right here and the colors for me are spot on, but there's something about the sculpting and I don't know what it is. The car mode actually looks the weakest of all the three modes if i'm honest this is not my favorite version here the cockpit does open though which is rather nice and speaking of accessories accessories this dude has got a lot of accessories he also comes with the flesh creature version as well so we get to see this flesh creature version which is obviously a harken back to one of the g1 episodes um yeah this is something I'd bring out, look at once, and then never use again. Let me know your thoughts on this one, as always, down in the comments. I know a few people are all in on this, but for me, XTB, you got to get me that lock before I could even look at this. Feels like we've waited an eternity for this, but yesterday, Fans Toys finally released some color pictures of Hannibal. Hannibal will form the head of the he yowge take on fortress maximus and yeah this dude looks incredible you're gonna he's a headmaster himself which is cool so cerebro so whatever you want to call this dude or spike or whoever you think this dude is in the head um looking really cool also comes with his master sword uh section for when he's in the ship um place to keep the sword and then the bot mode here looks great as well highly poseable and this is just such a shock when it came out last night. We have been waiting a very, very long time. If you are just picking up the head, the Master Sword stand actually just forms a stand for the head, which is really, really good. We can see the full size picture of everything and how that is supposed to look. So if anybody is wondering what that's going to look like, you can see how small the head is compared to the body. And yes, the body does transform into everything that you would expect for Max to transform into. But we can see a size comparison here between the fans toys take on Hot Rod and that. So this is a huge, huge beast this thing is going to be. And also prime I must pray for our wallets because the head alone is over $200. So I shudder to think what the body is going to cost. Let me know down in the comments. What do you think that body is going to cost seeing as the head is over $200? One thing I love in life is I love me a good pitch meeting and they are continuing to do Transformers pitch meetings over on Screen Rant. They have just done Transformers Age of Extinction. If you have no sense of humor about Transformers and how ridiculous some of the Bay movies are, do not watch this. If you do have a sense of humor like myself, then absolutely go and give it a watch. How to give it a watch? Super easy, barely an inconvenience. I'll drop a link down in the description and then transformers has hooked up with another freemium free to play yuck, mobile game and now you can use transformers in world of warships if you like this cool i'm happy for you for me no no it's not for me but it's there if you want it transformers on a boat Paramount also released this teaser image for Rise of the Beasts, Transformers 7. Um, don't know if this is the official logo or if this is just some concept artwork. Um, yeah, let's hope they haven't just pissed off a whole fan base again by just saying, hey, we're going to change the symbol for the Maximals. Other than myself, a great source for 
Transformers news is tfformers.com and they shared a little bit of a leaked list here for what's coming in the Transformers future, future, future. Now, usually I don't really cover a lot of these lists because you never know what's coming. I do prefer to wait for the actual pictures but something that really did get me excited is the thought of having some of those bumblebee transformers from the beginning of the bumblebee movie like the rc and the ratchet in figure form that's actually what i'm most excited for from the whole of this list let me know yours oh also that sludge there sludge yeah need to finish off the 86 dinobots definitely Moving over to the world of Hasbro officially then, and they showed off this digital coloured version of their Star Saber, which is the current kind of crowdfunded thing up on HasLab. And yeah, it looks it looks okay. It looks like Star Saber should look. I'm always now very cautious of these digital renderings that they send through if you watched my video then we know that in reality especially when it comes down to the digital colorization it doesn't always work out on the main figure itself so we can only hope and pray to primus that it actually does come through and look this way but what a few of you eagle-eyed people have actually spotted out that is that they seem to have released maybe a little early what another one of the stretch goals is going to be because when you look at the pictures of the fully combined ship itself then what we see on the back is star sabers shield that performs like a, an extra kind of rocket that attaches to the back that hasn't been revealed yet so that's pretty cool and it looks like that stand is going to be blue with the yellow v on the bottom which is nice v v victory so that is everything from me on this Transformers Saturday. Another very, very busy week in the world of Transformers. If you like what I'm doing around here, please think about giving me a like, a share, and a subscribe because it really does help me out. We are pushing our way up to that 4K mark and we're getting closer and closer every single week. So thank you very much for your support. As always, let me know down in the comments your thoughts about all these figures. What are you picking up? What are you missing out on? And I'll see you in my next video. All right, guys, in a bit. Peace.